Families of the Valde school shooting victims are becoming more prominent gun control activists with prodding and support from the state Democratic Party. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. The Texas Democrats hosted a news conference today in Uvalde with several families days after some of them endorsed Beto O'Rourke in the governor's race. The stories they tell are deeply personal, but opinions will be hard to change with polls showing a clear divide between Democrats and Republicans on gun control. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joins us now with more. Alex. Hi, guys. And as you might imagine, of course, the sorrow and grief felt by many of these families continue. Uh, it's still very gut wrenching for them what happened on May 24th. You know, we had a chance to hear from many of those uh, families today who spoke in Uvalde. They're demanding a change in leadership. They believe that Governor Abbott has failed them. For these families, it's going to be hard. So. Uvalde family members returned to the city civic center for the first time since May 24th. On that day, it was set up as a reunification center after an 18-year-old man armed with an AR-style rifle entered Robb Elementary School. For 21 families, that reunification never came. I left a piece of my heart at Robb Elementary. Kimberly Rubio's daughter Lexi was among the 19 students killed. Relatives of victims, including two teachers, took part in a news conference Wednesday put on by the Texas Democrats. Losing Irma the way we did was unimaginable and absolutely devastating. They carried signs and wore shirts of loved ones lost. Fourth grade teacher Arnulfo Reyes survived. When they finally came in to rescue us, And the man said, if you're alive, please talk now. I was the only one that talked that day because we were neglected for 77 minutes. The group is demanding the state pass stricter gun laws for rifle purchases. It's really from 1821, it's simple. You know, it's not much to ask. The background checks, the red flag logs. It's been done before. You know, Florida, you know, did it in, in, in almost a month. Jacinto Casares is referring to the school shooting in Parkland, Florida in 2018. In the aftermath, Florida lawmakers strengthened gun control laws, making it illegal for most Floridians under the age of 21 to purchase a gun. During last Friday's debate against Democrat challenger Beto O'Rourke, Governor Greg Abbott said raising the purchase age in Texas for long guns would ultimately be declared unconstitutional. Purely from a legal uh, position, based upon what that Court of Appeals decision ruled, and importantly, based upon what the Supreme Court decision said. Monday, Greg Abbott announced former U.S. Secret Service agent John Scott as the state's first school safety and security chief responsible for creating and enforcing uniform security rules at Texas public schools. Uvalde parents say that's not enough. That shooter should have never had those type of weapons in the first place. And in a press release released by the governor's office on Monday, they list uh, several actions that the governor has taken uh, since Uvalde, uh, including a pledge of $105 million that's meant to enhance school safety as well as mental health services, both in Uvalde and across the state. Back to you. Alex, thank you.